it conscious uncoupling? Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, she was obviously really disappointed, but, um, yeah, I think she took it quite well. Oh, good boy. I'm proud of you. I see Mo's bed went on, slept in again last night. Yeah, well, just saving on laundry bills, aren't we? Oh, how kind! Morning. 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 How is everyone? Fine. Grace? You? Can't complain. Well, I could, but who'd listen? <laughs> <laughs> right, well, better crack on. Yeah, those uh, patients are not going to cure themselves. Mm. Uh, Valerie, uh, nice headgear. Oh, thank you. And speaking of headgear, I am going to be doing my photo shoot later today, so let me check this out. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I love him. So good in Harry Potter. The villain. Voldemort? Bellatrix Lestrange? Draco Malfoy. Yeah, that's the one. Come on, I'm Aldi Warhol. Hey, just putting your image. Oh, yes, of course you are. Oh, yes, I can see it now. Brilliant. Huh. You're looking really well today, Valerie. Thank you, Dr. Haskey. I feel well. Oh, aren't they lovely? Absolutely. That um, limb really suits you. Thank you. I think so too. <laughs> Have a good Christmas. Uh, don't Cheers. drink too much. <laughs> exactly. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Is there something I can help you with, Jude? Can we have a chat about my essay, Mark? What is there to chat about? I was sure I'd done a good job on this one. You did fine. You gave me a C. That's what the work merits. I think it's definitely an A. The, the, the mark I've given you is, is entirely fair and reflects the quality of your writing, which frankly leaves a lot to be desired. Maybe I could uh, do something to change your mind. Mm -hmm. Something you'd like. No. No, I'm sorry, I, am. I, I want you to stop this. Stop what? We're just talking. <laughs> Besides, you started this, remember? No, I didn't. You see, I wasn't... Maybe you should just give me that A. I can't talk about this now. If not now, then when? No time like the present. You see, I... I, I can't. I, I... I have an appointment at the, the campus surgery about this... Oh, I don't blame you. It is really ugly. Never mind. I'm not heading home for a couple of days. We'll look up later. I know where to find you. Nasty. Um, I'd like Dr. Carter to take a look at it. Well, can't you just give me some cream or pills or something? Not until we know what's causing it. It could be eczema, psoriasis, allergic reaction, or there could be some other underlying cause. Well, no, I, I really just prefer some cream. It's better to be safe than sorry. It won't take long. I'll just go and see if we can fit you in. No. Great, if you could just take a seat. Thank you. Oh, I'll be with you in just one moment. Hello, the Mill Health Centre. Could I just be on hold just for a second? Great. Right, I'll just... Oh, so oh the network's gone down. Why is the router off? I don't know what's going on. I'm not the IT guy. I'm saying you are the IT. I'm perfectly capable of doing it myself. Oh, okay. Valerie, everybody's computer's playing off. Valerie! Oh, for heaven's sake, I'll just... <laughs> I will speak to IT when I've dealt with these patients, so if you could just give me a moment. Thank you. <sighs> I'd like to take a seat. <clears throat> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Thursday, three o'clock. Perfect. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. Um, we thought that, you know, it, with the chemo... It... Oh, don't start that till Friday. <sighs> what made you think that... The, the headscarf. Oh, I was just giving it a go. I just... I wanted to try out some styles, you know. Just because I've got cancer doesn't mean I have to be dowdy. 
got loads, look, oh, whole bag. <laughs> I've got a charity shop, I've got this, no, that's nice, isn't it? That actually goes with your jacket. Mm. Thanks. Thank you. Oh, um, sorry, can I help? I really hope so. What's the problem? Well, there's no problem. Do you have a medical issue? No. But if it means spending more time with you, then I'm really happy to make one up. <laughs> I don't date students, especially ones with budget tattoos, so if you haven't got a medical issue, then... I'm... I'm not a patient. I said I'd meet my tutor here. Here? I do what I'm told. You better take a seat, then. Any you recommend? Take your pick. Hi, Mo. Uh, never mind, Mo. What do you call me? Warrior princess. Too right, you do. <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's nice. For a second there, I thought you had the big C. I do. <gasps> what? Wow, really? Hiya, Mo. You come to see Al? Yeah, uh, you never said Val had cancer. It, well, it's not the kind of thing you bandy around. I was a bit reluctant to tell people at first, but I do think it's important to be honest. Oh, how long have they given you? How long? Yeah, to live, you know, what are your odds? Odds? Well, better than 50%, worse, mm -hmm. what? You don't mind talking about it, Deval? No, actually, it's the people who ignore me that make it worse. Yeah, I had a mate of mine at work who had cancer. He used to love talking about it. Did he? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, he's dead now, like, obviously. He lasted three months, but he loved talking about it. No, let's, um, let's go and find out, shall we? What are you doing later? Forgetting about you. <laughs> we both know that's not possible. If it doesn't clear up in a week or so, you know where we are. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> what, what, are you, what are you doing here? We agreed to meet up, remember? Spend some quality time together. Did, did we not? I, I... Talk about my mark, silly. I, I thought I made myself clear. <laughs> you did. But I can't get enough of listening to you. <laughs> no, that's just it. You don't, you don't listen. I love it when you're firm with me, Matt. I really do. My name is Dr Flowers. And I... I, I told you earlier that you, you, your mark stands. And can I, can, I, can I say that you really shouldn't be following me around like this. It's completely inappropriate behaviour. Should we call Barry? Is there a problem here, gentlemen? Uh, there's no problem. I just must have got the wrong end of the stick, that's all. We agreed to meet up after your appointment. No, we, we didn't. Will you please just leave me alone? I'm confused. You said very clearly that you wanted to see me. Is there a toilet here? Yeah, it's downstairs. Really, sorry about that. He's not usually like that. He's a great teacher, friendly, funny, likes a laugh. I hope he's okay. <laughs> that was really strange. Still, he's always forgetting about me. I thought you said that wasn't possible. Well, you're not going to forget about me, are you? I think we could have fun together. Why don't you call me? Because you're a child. <laughs> Give me a try. You'll find I'm all grown up. I was just up in uh, one of those days. I'm fine, thanks for asking. Ow! Mo's here. What are you doing here? Well, saw this and thought of you straight away, so. Surprise! What's that for? Well, it's because I like you. 
Well, you shouldn't have. It's, um, it's, it's too much. Shut up, you big softy. Come on, stick it on. No, I, ca I can't. I'm, I'm at work. Oh, go on. We'd like to see, wouldn't we? Oh, mate, help me get this straight, will you? Yeah, I'm kind of busy, mate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, jo Thanks, Mo. That's really cheered me up. <laughs> so, does this mean that you're bigger on the inside? Ha! Brilliant, Holland. Really, really good. You should write that one down. Fantastic. <laughs> you do like it, though, yeah? Yeah, it's great. The thing is, um, what are you doing here? What do you mean? I come to give you a present. You remember last night? Yeah, I do. We were a cracker, wasn't it? You remember what we talked about? Zombie vanquish. Yeah, of course I do. Hey, with that good, I've downloaded it to my phone. <laughs> oh, stick the kettle on, will you? I'm gasping for a brew. Now, do you believe me about stress? This is stress-related. Well, it has all the symptoms of a panic attack, but it could be heart-related. You need to go straight to any. No, no, that won't be necessary. Um, like I said, I've got a month off and... Hang I'm... on, about 20 minutes ago you couldn't breathe and now you're just going to go home? The rash, the collapse? Don't you think you should be taking this seriously? No, I'll be fine. Are you having problems at work with students? No. No. Uh, look, there's... There's nothing I can do, OK? So, um, so that's it. There's nothing that I can do. Nothing you can do about what? That guy who was here earlier, Jude, is he...? It's my health, OK? It's my life and it's my decision. I, I'm, I'm grateful for your help, but can you just back off? Of course. We don't mean to intrude. We just wanted to help. I don't need any help. Um, I'm just going to go. OK, so thank you and... Uh, <laughs> Happy Christmas. Should we go after him? No. He's right, of course. It's his decision. We can't live our patients' lives for them. Oh, hey, hey, hey. What? Did I just see Mo going out to the back patio with Karen? Is she still here? Yeah. And she seemed pretty happy for somebody whose relationship has ended. Oh, yeah. Um, when I said that... OK, so when you said that you'd broken up with her, what you meant was you'd slept with her, right? Just a little bit. Unbelievable. When do you think you might be leaving? I don't know why. Because she said you'd be out by the time Jack and Amy get back, and that's on the 19th. Yeah, so I'll crush your owls till they've gone. He's not going to kick me out of bed, is he? Then I'll be back, don't you worry. What is the story with you and Al? Now, are you wanting gory details? No! I just, well, you are the romance of the century, are you? Oh, who cares? Hey, I'm telling you, he's got the whole lot as Al. He's funny, he's sexy, clever. He's got the whole package. Are we still talking about Al? I'm sorry, did I have any chance to leave my phone? Thank... Right, uh, this is obviously really embarrassing. You're a student. What? No, no, don't be ridiculous. Dr Flowers, I'm not stupid. The tattoo? I know it's Jude. It's not what you think. I, I can explain. I'm so sorry about Mo. What for? She's a terrible motor mouth. All that stuff about odds and... Oh, no, that's OK. I'm just not the first person to ask me about my chances. It's not like I haven't thought about it a lot myself. Oh, go on. No, it's fine. It's fine we should answer that. Are you sure? Yeah, honestly. Oh, you're amazing, you know that? <sighs> Hello, Mel Helsinki. Can I help you? You uh, have to swear not to say a word to anyone. Just tell me. I am attracted to Jude, and he knows that. And he has used that fact to make my life a misery. I've been using this app, Meter. I know it's not a great idea, but I've never been very good at meeting people. Pretty rubbish at being gay. Believe me, it's hard whichever the side of the fence you're on. Well, it, it all started when he... 
He sent me a picture. I mean, you've seen him, he's gorgeous. Yeah, and you're his lecturer. I didn't, I didn't know that then. So I, I sent pictures back. What kind of pictures? Uh, pictures I never should have taken, let alone sent. And when I found out who he was, I, I, I told him that there's, there's no way that... So that was that. Only, unbeknownst to me, he had somehow saved my pictures and then he waited until the first essays were marked and he threatened that if he didn't get straight A's, he would show them to the dean and say that I had been grooming him. Why is he sending you photos of himself? Because he wants to torment me. Because he knows that I can't save them. He's, he's set them up so they, they disappear immediately. See, he's more, he's more tech savvy than me. I, I, I begged him to stop. I even told him how I felt about him. Why? Well, a part of me thought that he might feel the same way. But he just laughed at me. He told me that he was straight and he was only doing it for a bit of fun and for the grades, of course. But I mean, I, I think that he's battling his sexuality and his feelings. I, I did that at his age. I think that if all this is true, then he's just a cruel scumbag and he can't get away with it. If I tell anyone, the investigation just ruin me. Well, let me help you. No, 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 I'm, um, I'm, I'm okay, please, really. You collapsed earlier, remember? No matter what you feel about Jude, he's all surface with nothing behind it. Yes, but, um, what a surface. Oh, Doctor... Matt, you could lose your job or worse. Is that what you really want? I'm really glad you called. Me too. So, I suggest we have a few drinks here, get to know each other a bit better, and then maybe we could... Head back to mine and get to know each other a lot better. <laughs> You've read my mind. <laughs> Thanks and everything, but you're obviously gay. Well, I'm not. My gay guy's never wrong. Well, it is this time. Does your boyfriend know you meet me? The bloke from this morning, your tutor? He's not my... OK, you've got the wrong end of the stick. I think you have, mate. No, no, look. He's gay, I'm not. Yeah, right. He's lonely, he's desperate and he's gagging for it. And he always undermarks me, so I'm just playing with his head, leading him on. What, to get better essay marks? It works. I'm not kidding. He sent me these pervy photos when I was messing about on this gay dating app. I've got him over a barrel. Look. <laughs> look. How sad is that? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sad, yeah. <clears throat> Hang on, do you back photos like this up online? A bit dangerous, isn't it? Well, stupid, they're just on the phone. The best bit is, I keep sending him dirty photos of me, just to keep him on side. But couldn't that get him into trouble? Uh, if I'm getting good marks, who cares? But, I'm not gay. I swear it. I'm just doing what anyone would do. Maybe not anyone. I think we've got enough now, don't you? What are you doing? Off the record, it makes no difference to me whether you're gay, straight or bi-curious. But you are scum. And I wouldn't touch you if I was wearing a hazmat suit. Just saying. I don't Who was that on the phone? Surprise. Hello, Jude. I think it's time we had a chat. Buying me dressing gowns, I really don't think she got the message. No, a sledgehammer to get through to her. I thought it was just me. It is just you and all she talks about. How do you mean? Moving in with you at Christmas. What are you talking about? Mo, never going back to Doncaster. What are you talking about? I told her last night the relationship is going nowhere. That's what we discussed. Well, that's not what she thinks. She thinks that you're the romance of the century. <sighs> I don't believe it. I thought we were on the same page. So you want to dump her? Yes. 
But you still want to sleep with her. Well, don't you start. I said Neve chewing my ear off about that. It's not exactly the easiest thing to do to someone. <sighs> right. Al oh, Husky, you listen to me, you big wuss. Pull your finger out and sort it out before Christmas or you have me to answer to. Got it? Yes, ma'am. I don't suppose you could talk to a fool. Best bit is, I keep sending him dirty photos of me, just to keep him on side. But couldn't that get him into trouble? Uh, if I'm getting good marks, who cares? Means nothing. I've still got the photos of him. Hey. Not anymore, you haven't. No, that, that won't work. He's, he's got them saved. He just backed them up on the phone's memory. Good job one of us is tech savvy. That phone cost my dad a lot of money. Oh, bless. Let's tell him, shall we? Bet he'll love this story. Tell him. I don't care. He's not going to believe you over me. No way. I just wanted to get good marks. He'll think I was smart for taking advantage. And if you're stupid enough to put yourself out there like that, then you should expect the consequences. You really are a nasty piece of work, aren't you? No, no, he's just a confused kid. Get your hands off me. You pathetic, desperate old queen. <laughs> I can't believe I ever had feelings for you. <laughs> I can. Okay, Jude, uh, this is what's going to happen. Um, I don't think that this course is for you. In fact, I don't think that this, this university is for you. So when I get back after Christmas, you are gone. Otherwise, the dean is going to be very interested to hear about blackmail and intimidation and sexual harassment. Do you understand? You can't do that. You try me. Yeah? Yeah. Whatever. It's a crap course anyway. And you're a crap teacher. Leave it there. Tell Daddy you lost it. Now get out. <sighs> Scumbag. He's just lost and lonely. <laughs> like me. Maybe it's time you change that then. It's Christmas. You've got a month off. Get out there and meet someone. That's easy to say. Don't... Don't tell anyone about this, please. I won't if you won't. Trust me, I could get in serious trouble if anybody found out about this. That makes two of us. <laughs> i better go. Thank you. For everything. You're welcome. Very classy. <laughs> Have you touched it up a bit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Warhol used to say, always admit the blemishes, they're not part of the good picture you want. I like that. I might make them a motto. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm here to see Mrs Tembe about the uh, PPG. She's in her office. Great. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> what? New look. I like it. It's, it's nice. Um, it's very bohemian, isn't it? It's good to change things. Helps us to move on. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Well, I mean, me too. I've uh, bought some flowery shirts, some new cords and a sturdy pair of brogues. I mean, I'm quite the man about town. I've yeah. got cancer. I, I'm sorry? I've got cancer. Well, um, why didn't you call me? I might not say what. Hi, I know we broke up and everything, but I've got cancer, so shall we give it another go? Um, are you going to die? No. Not if I can help it. Thing is, I might not be able to help it. Huh. So you could die? I can't take this in. It's not happening to you. I mean, you're the same age as me and... You're dying. Just stop talking about dying. I don't want to hear it. 
That's all I think about anyway. I can't eat. I can't sleep. I just think about dying. All the time. Me. Alone. Dying. I'm sorry. Can't you think of something else to say? Like what? Something reassuring. Um... But, uh, no, I, uh... I can't. Um... Sorry. Tell Mrs. Tembe I'll, uh... reschedule. Yeah. Um... I, uh... I can't deal with this. Anything to you at work today? Um, uh, no, I didn't see him. He was at the campus. You're not a detective. Oh, I thought I heard something. Look at him. You don't know what'll help. You don't know what's important. You're supposed to keep your mouth shut and let them do the job. Yeah, I promise you, it's only going to be a day or two. Hello. Um, welcome to my home. <laughs>